नमस्कार दोस्तों आज फिर आपका स्वागत है क्राउन इमिग्रेशन के यूट्यूब चैनल पर तो आज हमारे साथ यूनिवर्सिटी के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हैं एस के के तो आज क्राउन इमिग्रेशन एक बहुत बड़े एग्जीबिशन में आई थी यहाँ पर बहुत सारी फिनलैंड की यूनिवर्सिटीज़ आई हुई हैं तो जो यूनिवर्सिटीज़ के रिप्रजेंटेटिव हैं अलीना उनसे हम डिस्कस करेंगे कि यूनिवर्सिटीज़ कैसी हैं यूनिवर्सिटीज़ में किस वजह से इंटरनेशनल स्टूडेंट्स एडमिशन्स ले सकते हैं कौन कौन से प्रोग्राम्स हैं तो अभी हम अलीना से डिस्कस करेंगे अलीना फर्स्टली आई वेलकम यू ऑन अवर चैनल फर्स्टली आई विल आस समथिंग अबाउट योर यूनिवर्सिटी टेल मी द नेम ऑफ योर यूनिवर्सिटी सो द नेम ऑफ आवर यूनिवर्सिटी इज सताकुंता यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ अप्लाइड साइंसिस एंड वी कम फ्रॉम द वेस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ फिनलैंड इन नॉर्दर्न यूरोप व्हेन दिस यूनिवर्सिटी वाज फाउंड इट वाज फाउंडेड इन 1997 बट सम ऑफ आवर फैकल्टीज दे हैव एक्चुअली एक्जिस्टेड फॉर ओवर 140 इयर्स सो वी हैव लॉन्ग ट्रेडिशंस ऑफ हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी द इंटरनेशनल हाउ मेनी कैंपस ऑफ योर यूनिवर्सिटी इन फिनलैंड वी वी हैव टू कैंपसेस वेयर वी हैव international students and how many faculties in your university we have four different faculties and which university. type of faculties you have uh, we have the business faculty then we have the maritime management faculty healthcare faculty and the engineering faculty okay and uh, whether you have the phd program in your university oh uh, no we don't have phd no. you have some idea how many international international students are studying in your university yes 700 uh, international students coming from all over the world right okay and how the student can get the admission in bachelor and master program in your university so we mainly have a uh, bachelor degrees at the moment we have seven different bachelor degrees in english language and to apply into our university of applied sciences you need to submit the application during the application period you can do it online and there's no application fee and then uh, after the application period our admissions office will go through all the applications and uh, we select the students uh, by the paper selection for the most of our programs so you submit the certificate while you apply and then uh, the best students will be selected uh, but for the healthcare programs we also have the online application uh, done at the um, Uh, the interview and then the test also okay. online with, uh, which type of medical for health uh, medical program in your university we have the nursing degree and the physiotherapy degree but degree. is uh, it is in english for the programs in english both of them and yes. for getting the admission in the either in bachelor in nursing or physiotherapy there is any entrance exam yes entrance exam online so the interview and it is the a test. joint application uh, this is the or uh, it is a separate application we have the separate application in our university okay yes. there is any way without entrance exam student can get the admission in nursing in nursing no all the students they have to do either either indian exam. or foreigner yes all uh, the all the international if, students if if the student completed the schooling from gcse board ib diploma you are giving some preference to them no no well, we the, we have all the students are in if, equally so it means all the students need to go the entrance exam yeah okay can you uh, can you tell me this type of positive profile if the student want to get a admission in bachelor program mm -hmm. in business yes which type of positive profile you are saying ki that student can get the admission have the chances if the student have a, that type of grading and having a, having that type of ielts um if you have the ielts it's highly recommended but not required since you can get an extra point if you have ielts 6.0 at least and um, but unfortunately i cannot say uh, what kind of uh, degrees you should have it depends on the year depends on what kind of uh, applicants we have each year since uh, we will go through all the applications and then the best students will be selected so it's hard to say what kind of uh, hey, if the student having a 70% 80% in india percent is going there's a really high chance to getting selected but i cannot guarantee since it depends on the year and what kind of students we have then which type of students you are giving the priority one is the humanity student one is the uh, science no, no, sci no priority since okay. we are uh all the applicants they are treated as equally okay. and and we will go through all the applications and then then picking oh. the best students okay this type of english taught master program in your university uh we have only one master's degree it's called sustainable business management okay what is the duration of this uh, degree uh if you do it offline on our campus it's for one year if you want to do it online it's for two years okay even some student could not secure the admission in finland since there is a high competition for getting the admission in finland universities so you have 
have any type of options for them, either a pathway program or something, or you can suggest something for them to the beat student, having not a good academic or sometimes having a only IELTS 5.5 or mm -hmm. you yeah. can suggest something for them. Yes, that should we have a couple of dif uh, different uh, pathways uh, available, and we are also planning to establish a new pathway. So yes, we have some some options for those students. Okay, some also. okay, some students are very very uh, uh, asking us, parents asking about the scholarship whether mm -hmm. Finland universities are provided the scholarship first uh, especially SAMT yes. there is any option for scholarship for the international students yes we provide a scholarship for all the international <coughs> students uh, they cannot be applied uh, when you apply but once you have started your studies uh, the scholarships are available for you so we have the success in studies scholarship so after the first year you can apply for it if you have done well enough in your studies so then then you can get a 50% of the paid fee back after the first year and actually after each year. You get oh great, back. it is very good. And then we also have the Finnish language scholarship uh, since we have a Finnish language courses integrated in all the curriculums. Okay. So if you get certain level in Finnish then you can apply for Finnish language scholarship. It means if the student will do which level, B2 level, B1 level, which type of? B2 and B1 level, so we have two different uh, scholarships. Okay, if the student completed the B1 level and uh, he uh, he or she want to start the further study in Finnish language, so whether all the study will be free of cost or what? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? I, I, I am saying if student will completed a B1 level, mm -hmm. okay, thereafter he will start the program in Finnish language. In Finnish, yes. Whether the Finnish language program is totally free of cost or? Uh, yes, if you are able to follow the tuition in Finnish, then it's for free. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yes. okay. And it is really very good discussion. You have shared a very good information with the uh, with us, and we will share with the public and those are watching our uh, this channel. Alina, it is very uh, nice discussion, and uh, we are trying. We, we will provide a number of students to your universities from worldwide country. Okay, Thank you, Alina. sounds Daniel. very good. Thank it's you. nice to talk Thank to you. you. Thank you.